Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Martina the Diva. I know from the clip, you're like, okay, I thought you were in an RV. Well, I was. I just wanted to give you guys a little clip, a little glimpse at my journey and how I decided to uh, go with the van, the minivan instead of an RV in hopes of one day having a cargo van that I can transition into my home. But for now, we are in the minivan. But let me show you how it all began. Take a look. I'm giving you the $500. Damn no. the man. <laughs> no, I don't care. Um, uh, the five hundred dollar okay. deposit just for the motorhome. Please don't. Home. I do like my privacy. I know this is just for me and the cool. that something goes That's wrong. That's cool. Okay. Um, the proof that I gave you the five hundred dollars. That's right. You did. So. Um. That's it. Yeah. Just don't get on anybody's tail. You said you sound like you might have somebody drive this back anyway. Just don't get on somebody's tail. Stay away. Plenty of. Room. A box with wheels. A home on wheels. That's what huh. you call that. And I want to do the inside real quick. Inside? been searching for a year yeah every time i think i find one they sell it before i get oh, there yeah. so they say yeah and then there's a bunch of scams on there too yeah but they do move pretty fast yeah it's a bunch of scams a bunch of scams and then you know me trying to find one in my price point yeah. that actually runs and drives yeah. See you later, buddy. I gotta figure out the name for you. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. So today, we look at the RV and what we have purchased. So we have a 1989 uh, P30 Chevrolet um, that I purchased for $17.50. Um, the person wanted $22.50 and I talked them down because, you know, let's face it, it does need a lot more work than anticipated. Although, um, overall, I felt like the engine was in okay shape. So, um, minus a little rust here and there on parts like you know oh there's the spare tire huh didn't even see that okay so we're gonna do a little walk around and see what we have here um let me put this screwdriver up let's see so i think this is for the heater or the hot water heater here don't know what that is um, this is for the gas oh, man, don't know what that is all right let me because I can't do this with the phone in my hand let me at least try to open things up and see what's what and then we'll go from there see you in a minute and let's try this again all right I got all well damn I locked them up all right, so we have some storage here, the heater here. I still haven't figured out what this was. Um, gas, more storage. This is the generator under here. And then you have more storage. The propane tank here. And then more storage there. Um, when I got the RV, 
the guy I purchased it from had some rigged up shit. So here we are with the battery holder or post, which is completely um, rusted out and they are holding and it's been held up. Sorry, my video went out. It's been held up by these straps. So the first things first is to get that rectified, get a tune up, um, figure out what's going on over here with this, this paneling, which I have no idea, which we're gonna have to get back together. Um, more storage over here as well. This I think is storage two. And then this over here is um, the gray and black tank. Um, <laughs> the fresh water tank is in on the inside by the bed or under the bed. So yeah, so let's take a look on the inside. So I'm starting to clean up in here. Um, so it's a little messy. No, let me joke. Um, so yeah, I'm starting, I, I just got it yesterday. So I'm looking at it now to see what I purchased and what, you know, I want to do. I know there's going to definitely be a lot of renovations here. Um, we're going to try to salvage this thing right here, but we're definitely going to have to take it off, repaint it, you know, clean it up real nice and neat. Um, so all of that is going to get cleaned up. I think I'm going to probably just keep it original and then just as far as the, the, that up there and, um, because you see how it's a grayish color. So I think that's probably going to be the color scheme that I go with in here. Um, so that way all I have to do is just paint this up here once I make sure that there are no leaks. So the, the roof is doesn't seem like it's in bad condition. So we're not going to, if it ain't broken, we're not going to fix it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to paint over that, you know, make it look nice and vibrant. Um, we're going to take down these cabinets oh gosh and um repaint them clean them out real nice so they match um we, i was thinking about moving these benches out of here um just because i want like a little couch here in this area um so that way i can hang the tv um somewhat right here over this, I might just take this out and have that where the TV is um, because there is plenty of storage in here and I'm trying to minimize a lot of things. So I'm not really gonna worry about that. But yeah, I'm planning on probably taking this out or just mounting the TV somewhere in here or you know, some, something like that. Um, I'm not sure if there used to be a chair here, but I might put one here just cause, but um, to make it like a little desk area. Um, I haven't decided or I might just make it where when this sofa pulls up some kind of way, I have a desk as well. Either way, you know, I'm going to have to set this up, but I do want to take, I'm going to take this table out and these, these, these hideous, um, benches, they have to go. I don't know if they're salvageable because I really want to get up under there and see what's going on with that floor. So I'm definitely probably going to take them out and we'll see what we can say. Um, again, with this countertop, it's already coming off. So it is definitely coming out. Um, I don't know if maybe I can salvage this wood here. Um, I think I might be able to, but as you can see, there's um, some water damage here that obviously that will have to come out and I got to make sure that there's no water damage behind that um that wall right there so i kind of want to take this out to see and then we can always just put it back later and i want to take that carpet out that carpet has to go it looks like there's a rat somewhere in here so i'm definitely gonna have to do you know some some and some some something uh, this sink i want to put a single sink here so we're going to see how much depth that I can, you know, get away with, with putting a single sink here and changing out the fixtures on that. Um, again, I'm going to just sand these down, clean them real good and um, paint them. So we're going to try to salvage all of the upper cabinets. We're going to try to salvage those things at the bottom. You know, we might, we might have to get rid of it. That's just what it will be. 
if we had to get rid of it. Um, the oven, I am going to get rid of this eventually because I want to stay in the steel, but right now it's going to stay. <laughs> um, this is already tore, so we're going to have to get a new door here. See, that's where some wetness is coming from here. I don't know what that is. This looks like some wiring. So, yeah, we're just going to have to figure that out. Now, this right here, I'm thinking about just rebuilding because it looks like it could be some water damage with this storage. Oh, let me get this door out the way. Sorry. Um, um, clothes, closet, more storage. See, that's what I was saying. Like, there's plenty of storage in here. I don't know what that is. I guess that's a breaker box of some sort. When I get somebody in here to tell me what all this stuff is, maybe I'll figure it out. So, I don't know. That might have some water damage back there because it looks like it's peeling. It could just be peeling. We'll see because I'm about to open up some stuff and start taking some stuff apart to prepare for everything. Um, I know I'm going to start with the outside. Oh, I didn't show you the bathroom. Here's my little sink area here. I think I'm going to take that out and put something totally different there. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, I might take this and put it... Oh, no, I can't put it there. But this is like this, this, this space right here I want for my sink for whatever reason. But this is the biggest linen closet right here. But anyway, um, I'm going to have to figure that out with this sink. Oh, there's some water damage. Uh, excuse me, water damage up here. And I didn't bring my ladder. I wish I would have remembered. Um, so, yeah. Um, then you have... Where is this hole here? I'm going to pick it up. Then you have the shower here. I mean, it's tall enough for me. But if you are a tall person, um, you might hit your head, you know. But it is tall enough for me. Um, I am going to take this shower thing, gimmajiggy, whatever this is, down. Because that doesn't serve any purpose at all for me. Um, if anything, it needs to be further out. But once I take out this carpet that's in here. Oh, the toilet is burnt up. Once I take out the to toilet. Yeah, we might have to take that toilet out um, and put a new one in. Um, and then we're going to take this carpet out. Well, the floor has got to go. The floor overall is going. So that's why I don't know if I'm hoping that under there is still solid. It feels like it could be. So we'll have to see to make sure that it's still solid under there. And then I can just maneuver around, I guess. I don't really know. Um, we're going to have to take everything out and redo the floor. And then if that's the case, it's going to be a lot. And then here's the little breaker box up here. I don't really want to lose this, but we'll figure that out. And then the refrigerator. Still we're trying to figure out how to open it, but the refrigerator here. I, I'm probably going to keep this. And if it works and um paint it a little bit you know on the outside so you can take this ugly i think you can probably take this out and change it out to something else and then yeah we'll have a refrigerator there so we're gonna probably try we're gonna try to save that as far as i know the ac does work we're gonna change out these lights fixtures to led lights here here and there um i don't know this, this the generator gauge, so it looks like it has 278 hours on it. Um, yeah, so this is my new 1989 um, P30 Winnebago. And to be continued. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon.
Okay, so now, right now, I am messed up. I know I got a little stain on my shirt from my turkey burger. I am messed up to try to tackle to take out this flooring and some carpet that I'm unsure of. So I'm going to protect myself as you should. But just to still let you see a little bit of the work that I've done, I've taken out all the cabinets, all of the miscellaneous stuff that really didn't make any sense for me to have um, in and that I'm going to be getting rid of. So, um, stay tuned to what's about to happen with this renovation. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be getting the brakes done. Hopefully, it's just the bleeding that is needed and we'll be able to move forward with moving into the new lot and really be able to demo this thing so stay tuned you guys yeah and then there's a needle the things you find all right so since i got you on here this floor is gonna have to come out the whole floor so i'm gonna have to get everything out of here and put a new sub floor down yeah so Everything must go. Let's see if we can salvage this. But I don't think so. Alright, so let me continue to work. Today is break day. I've been out here for a few hours. I ended up needing a master cylinder. So, yeah, today is break day. So, we should have breaks after this. And then we can get started. Get started. I see her like this now. Wait on it. She won't look like this for long. The cylinder replace and blade. Whew. So now y'all see, it was a journey. That RV was an RV from hell. So although it was very durable as far as engine and transmission, it had a lot of work to be done on the inside and it was just too much for me and I decided because um I would be traveling all over the place I went I had to think about gas I had to think about maintenance I had to think about just traveling alone so what I decided was to start small and work my way up so here we are in my minivan I have made it across country, which stay tuned for that. I have videos coming up for that um, to show you my journey through the snowstorms and all just to make it back to New Jersey. Um, and yeah, I thank you guys for tuning in. So please, 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 please like, subscribe, comment, good or bad. Help me grow this channel and stay tuned for more adventures. Thank you for watching. Bye.